Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Atatu, Attila Hai, Tungusugi, Tungusui. Welcome, everyone, um, to our core workout day. Uh, my name is Michael Baskin. I am the Makitati Atta coordinator, and uh, I'm going to be going through a ab or core uh, warm up, workout, and cool down. I'm joined today with Paige from the Toronto Anime Association, as well as Brian from the Toronto Anime Associations. So they're going to be demonstrating some of the modified versions uh, that I'll show first. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's get into this. I always forget to actually thank Canadian Heritage and Sport Canada every time, but thank you, as well as to the staff for making this all possible. So let us get into it. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be standing up and we're gonna be doing some human C stretch. Alternatively, if you don't wanna stand up or you can't stand up, you can just reach over to your side while you're sitting. And we're really just trying to focus on the obliques, really try to stretch out these muscles here. So I will be standing up. So let me just turn this into gallery view so we can all see what we're doing. Boom. <clears throat> So from the side, just reaching down, going down the legs. And we're just gonna hold this for 30 seconds on each side. If you find that you really, really wanna get that deep oblique stretch, you can shift your hips to the side that you're stretching from, and you can really try to get your body parallel to really stretch out those obliques. So just like so, just really trying to open up those oblique muscles <clears throat> to get us ready for our twists and our other oblique related workouts. So now we're going to go into two really great poses for, the, uh, for your abdominals. The first is the Sphinx pose, uh, which we'll do now. And the second is the Cobra pose. So to show first, we're gonna be doing the Sphinx pose. So the Sphinx pose, is getting with your forearms flat on the mat like so and pushing up trying to get your chest in the air but keeping your forearms flat on your mat flat on the floor and just trying to look back just like so just going to switch to gallery view for us So we're really trying to stretch out the upper abdominal muscles just below the chest. You can stretch out the neck as well while we're doing these poses just by looking backwards. Alternatively, you can go into a plank position to really activate that core like Brian's doing. So the next pose is going to be the Cobra pose. So the Cobra pose is just like the Sphinx pose, except we're going to be pushing upwards and really just trying to get our chest in the air to really activate our mid section. So just to show everybody quick, just like so. And just really trying to bend the neck and push your chest into the air. And again, we're just holding these poses for 30 seconds.
So that was a really good stretch. We've now pretty much opened up everything. We've got the obliques, we've got the upper, we've got the middle corner. And so now we're going to be doing the sideways starfish. So sideways starfish is really great for the lower obliques. And <clears throat> what that looks like is you just want to get onto your side, balancing in this plank position and reaching up in the air like so. And that is the starfish position. Alternatively, if that is too difficult, you can lay on your side and you can reach up like so. And again, all it does is it really just changes which oblique muscles we're going to be working on, but we're switching either side. So without further ado, let's get into it. <clears throat> so again, just coming up and holding this position. And again, doing them for 30 seconds, either lying on your side or in the plank position. If you find that you're hurting the side of your foot while you're in this position, you can get a pillow, place it underneath the side of your foot to really make things easier. If you're finding it hard to balance, you can put one hand down. Again, we're really just trying to crunch the oblique. So now, switch it to the other side. I can tell I'm definitely not as flexible on this side. <laughs> like I could feel my leg just not holding up. <clears throat> but again, a really great stretch for the obliques. Both sides get that plank position as well as the extension and the hold. So really great for us. Now we're gonna be doing some lying down toe reaches. So just to quickly show that, I'm gonna be bringing my feet up parallel above my hips and I'm gonna be reaching up and we're just gonna to try to hold that position for 30 seconds. So we're lying down, feet up, and we're just trying to touch our toes as if we were standing. So just like so. Now, <clears throat> if you find that that's too difficult, when you're laying down, you can bring your knees up and just try to reach past, reach past your knees. So, let's do this. So again, just holding these positions for 30 seconds. Just like so. So now we've really activated everything. Now we're just going to do the lower abs. We're gonna to try to raise our knees in that plank position to our chest. So for us, just getting down into the table position or a full plank, again, whatever's most comfortable for you. And we're going to be either with your knee planted or your legs straight. We're gonna be bringing a knee to our chest and putting it back down and just alternating sides. But again, if you want, you can keep one knee planted and switch off as you do, just like so, just to give your core a break on either side as we're going through this. So let's do it. <laughs> So we're just gonna be doing this 10 times. So five on each side. 
If you want to make it more difficult, you can really try to bring your chest towards your knee as you're bringing your knee towards your chest, which really gives that crunch feeling to your body. So, just like so. Again, feel free to do more, feel free to break them into sets. Again, whatever really gets your lower core, your lower abdominal muscles kicking. So now we're gonna get into the workout <laughs> as if this wasn't already a workout. And we're going to uh, do some bicycle crunches or alternatively, we can do some flutter kicks with alternating reach. So I will be showing you what that looks like here. The bicycle crunches. I like so. You wanna come down at a very neutral position with your legs lifted. And as you come up, bring each knee and elbow to each knee and elbow. So ideally you wanna alternate and you wanna to touch right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. So <clears throat> that is the one exercise. Alternatively, you could do flutter kicks with a reach up. So that would look like fluttering your legs and coming up. On each side and again, still alternating with your reach, just trying to lift your chest up as you come up and still trying to activate the lower core. So I'll bring us back to gallery view and we can get into it. So the bicep crunches coming up. And ideally you wanna do 10 on each side. So I'm gonna go through and do 20. Whew. Realistically, I should be calling those like <laughs> turtles stuck on their back. Like I just, uh, <laughs> it's not a pretty sight, but I so that, that, work out. <laughs> that was that was painful that was brutal <laughs> yeah, it was uh it's definitely it's definitely hardcore <laughs> i looked bad i looked bad doing it just <laughs> wading through water so <clears throat> from there we're going to go into mountain climbers so like we did with that stretch we're going to be bringing the knee to our chest if it feels most comfortable, you can bring your knee and you can plant it or you can put your foot flat as you bring it up. Whatever's most comfortable to you. Again, we're just trying to get that crunching position in. So so getting down into mountain climbing position. Again, bring the knee and foot up as if you were climbing a mountain, but Alternatively, you can do plank knee raises, in which case you can either be in table plank, forearm plank, and bring your knee up to your side as if you were scaling a wall. So I recognize a lot of people might not have scaled the wall, <laughs> but uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Anyways. So getting to these mountain climbers, I'm gonna be doing 10 on each side, so that's 20. Again, ideally, we wanna be doing both exercises as fast as you can. So again, 
really just trying to push that core into overdrive. It's really good. It's really good endurance. It's really good at burning calories and it really tones and tucks your abs. So off of that, we're gonna be doing some V-ups um, or alternatively some raised toe touches. So V-ups are a difficult exercise. However, they are just really good for your core. So I'll be showing a traditional V-up now and then I'll be switching over. As you can see, we're just trying to bring our hands to our toes while we're doing that exercise, keeping everything straight. Alternatively, you could be doing raised toe touches. So raised toe touches are where we are laying down, putting our feet up like that, stretch that we've done, and we are going to raise up our body to our toes, or we can keep them bent and we can bring our knees to our chest. So those are the alternative versions for the V-ups. So we're going to get into those. So with the V-ups and the other exercises, we're gonna be doing 10. So already definitely feeling those, yes. That was great, that was great Paige. We did it, we're all doing it. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna be doing some hip raises. <clears throat> so the hip raises or glute raises are just making that bridge again with their bodies. I've done it a couple of times on live, but for those that don't know, just bringing the butt off of the floor, we're lying on our quadriceps and our legs to hold us. And again, just coming up, we're gonna be doing this 10 times, trying to get our abs straight as we crunch up and extend. Now, if you have trouble doing the hip raises, you can use your elbows, and you can prop your body up as you're coming through. So again, it is requires some upper body strength, but it does take the pressure off of the legs. What would, uh, what would be a modifier to make it more difficult? To make it more difficult, um, I always go to pulsing. I think pulsing is definitely the best. So as you're going through the contractions, you want to do a crunch mid hip. So to make it difficult, as you're coming up, you want to crouch as you're coming down. So when you lift up, you want to try to crunch or alternatively pulse and hold. And again, really just trying to get the abs to work. I think it's a little difficult with hip raises though, uh, just because it relies so much on the lower body to lift up, uh, but really anything to try to put the pressure back on the abs. So some holding associated with it. Absolutely. Would it be so, official to do it as one leg at a time or would that be a different muscle group and different exercise? I think that would mostly target the legs. Um, but I think that, yeah, I think that, that I, I think that would be, I think that would be a good modifier. I can actually try it right now. <laughs> Yeah, definitely still feeling it more on the legs, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I think definitely just trying to hold, maybe even trying to do a bridge um, type of movement, I think would be beneficial to the, to the hip raises. I think I'll actually do some, do my own research on that, I think, as a side note, but coming up, trying to bring this upwards. I think you could, Maybe do some 
Russian twist associated with it or some reaching. Maybe as you're coming up, but again, just traditionally trying to push upwards and really trying to use our abs to hold here as we come up. There we go. Yes, Brian. <laughs> there it is. I think that's the modifier we were looking for. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to be doing some side V ups. So just like what we were doing before, coming forward. So this time we're going to be reaching over to our side. <clears throat> Alternatively to that, you can be doing some side crunches if you can't lift that full extension or in that same position you can bring your knee upwards and you cross over so i'll be showing all three first lying on my side and just trying to bring that side up i'm a little bit off kilter on my mat but just like so Now, of course, we're not meant to completely touch our feet, uh, but that's the idea if you can. Alternatively, we have side crunches. So laying down on our sides and coming up, like how we've done. Or if you want that middle challenge, you can really try to bring your feet collapsed together, trying to get that knee up. Again, whatever really works for you, whatever feels most comfortable. Um, these are difficult exercises, uh, but the modifiers are there to really try to get us to those positions. So now we're going to get into the side dips. So I'm now on my side, keeping my arm extended and trying to Again, now we're gonna switch sides and we're just trying to even it out. If we're using all the muscles together, I like to go for an even 20. If we're using individual muscles, I really like to break those down into sets. So again, just coming up. So really beating on our obliques, it's a, it's a down, right? It's not, double thumbs down, it's no good. That is, that is not a fun exercise. It's not a graceful exercise. I kept falling over. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, Hey, that's why that's why we had those side bridges in there, you know, get everybody's <laughs> get everybody's balance right. <laughs> okay, so uh, now we're going to be doing some sit ups with a twist. Uh, so we're going to be coming up as like literally sit ups with a twist. <laughs> we're going to be coming up reaching behind us as we're coming up. Um, if you have weights, you can bust out the weights, and you can do these oblique twists with the weights. Um, as well, if you are not prone to sitting up, you can keep your knees elevated, your body elevated off the floor, and you can just reach behind you. Again, really trying to twist up the obliques. Um, but otherwise, really coming up, coming up, and you can imagine that you're, you know, throwing elbows, right? I've seen people throw punches, whatever really gets the twist in there. Alternatively, you can of course just come up and try to reach behind as you're doing these sit ups with a twist, but just getting in that twisting motion. So 
getting into it now. And again, just doing this 10 times. Whew. Again, if you want to do more, you absolutely can. You know, you can break these into sets. You can make them harder, but just really good at really activating that whole core. So now that we've gotten through the workout, we're going to Cool down, getting back into some nice cooling down yoga positions, followed up by a ab tightening and toning exercise. But really, it works out like a stretch. So the first that we're going to do is, I think this is cow pose, <laughs> trying to get her back bent, putting her head back, and again, really trying to get her butt in the air with our head in the air and really trying to make a C with our stomachs. And again, just holding these for 30 seconds. And of course, after cow or whatever cat, <laughs> we go into cow or cat. Just holding for 30 seconds. And now going into, I want to say that this is cow, but it also looks like a cat. And again, just trying to tight, tighten up your core, trying to get your chest to your pelvis, just really tightening up that core, just for 30 seconds. And now transitioning into sun salutations. So just trying to get our chest up in the air and our neck back. Again, really trying to stretch out our upper abdominals. And now we're going to go into Cobra pose, which is about halfway to the Sphinx pose, which is down your forehead, just bending at the elbow and trying to get that middle ground between on the floor and just above. So again, just that little bend, really trying to bend the middle back as opposed to the lower back, just like so. And again, just holding this for 30 seconds. And then we'll be transitioning onto the floor using the Sphinx pose. And then we're going to do some Supermans. So finishing now, getting down onto our stomachs, propped up on our forearms. And now just trying to lean back again with our neck and our back. And again, just holding for 30 seconds.
Okay, so now into Superman pose, which is just lying down on the floor. And we're going to be lifting our legs off of the floor as well as our arms, just like so. I'll move back a bit, give myself a side view. Just coming off the floor like so. You can keep your arms straight if you have the space for it, which I don't. <laughs> so I keep it bent like so. But the idea is to just get that curvature in the spine, try to lift your chest from the floor and your knees and your thighs off of the floor as well. You can reach back as well, whatever works for you. So really try to get that stretch. And again, holding this for 30 seconds, it may feel like an eternity. But really, just go as you would like. You can add some movement in there to really make it more difficult. You can even rest and come up to turn it into an exercise. But today for my purposes, I'm just holding. Really trying to make that core hard up against the floor of the mat. And whew. Ah, there it is. We made it through <sighs> and uh, there we go. So my abs are feeling very strange right now. They feel really hot, but really cold. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I hope that that was beneficial to everybody. Uh, certainly beneficial to me. Um, like always, thanks everybody for joining us. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Brian, for joining me on this on this uh this rude journey <laughs> but wow so yeah it feels really great um i'm glad to be here thank you all um i'm gonna try to end this the right way so we don't uh go live for <laughs> 30 seconds again <laughs> and uh all right take care everybody have a great wednesday bye